Breaking news tonight. In just the last 90 minutes, we learned that Phoenix police don't plan to lay off any officers. And just last month, Phoenix police said they would cut as many as 400 workers just to balance the budget. So what changed? CBS 5's Lisa Lee Kelly is live from police headquarters with more. Lisa. Well, here's what happened, seating Catherine. The Phoenix City Manager announced his new budget proposal, which has to be voted on Tuesday morning by the entire city council. But in this new budget, there is a recommendation for no layoffs in either police or fire. Now, over time, we will still see a reduction in the size of the forces because until the economy improves, a hiring freeze remains in place. That means when current officers leave or retire, they will not be replaced. But considering the massive cuts that were facing both police and fire, there are a lot of relieved officers tonight. I'm a little bit surprised, and it's welcome news, uh, that as of this afternoon, the city manager has announced that the proposed budget, which goes in front of city council on Tuesday, will contain uh, no sworn officer layoffs or sworn firefighter layoffs. Now, the police fire union uh, says several things happened. One, the union agreed to a 3% pay cut. Cutbacks in other areas also tighten the budget. And, of course, the city approved that 2% food tax. Now, the police union tells me they do not believe this was all a ploy just to get citizens fearing their public safety so that they would go ahead and support the food tax. I'm told the food tax, the proceeds from that will be used for a lot more than just keeping officers in uniform. For now, we're live at police headquarters. I'm Lisa Lee Kelly, CBS 5 News.